What do you say on the idea that Jamaicans have the biggest eggplants? <laughs> Have you ever skinny dipped? No. I have. Next. Hey, what's up, Soul Nation? I'm Ricky. And I'm your boy, Colin. And welcome back to our channel. We just want to start off by saying Happy New Year to you guys. We are so thankful and appreciative. Yes, like, absolutely appreciative, guys. The we have literally just started a few months ago and we've grown so much and just want to say thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for the comments you guys are leaving, like we feel not that you guys are driving for us in the Yeah, we're growing so fast. Yeah, so thank you guys for just being there and just watching and supporting us. Keep going back. So um, today we're doing questions and answers. The game is called Truth or Drink. Directions, please. Sir. Yes, so in this game, we're going to be answering the question that you guys asked on Instagram and TikTok. So we have recorded those questions and we'll be going over them and trying to answer as much of, of them as possible. What we can't answer, we're going to be going to take a, a drink from that. So let's get it going. Is it hard for you to get into a fight with someone? You want to answer that one first? Yeah, you, you want to answer. Okay, cool. Okay, I was asking you want to answer. I'll I answer. Uh, for me, uh, definitely, yes. I would say it's hard for me to get in a fight with someone. For me to be in a fight with you, you have to constantly be trying to fight me. Because I, I'm not very... I'm, I, I don't like fighting. Because I know, like, I, I don't want to go to jail. Because I'm crazy. I'm just kidding. But I don't like fighting. <laughs> so for me, you, you have to really get out of your comfort zone to try to fight me. Yeah, for me, um, I've... It, it takes a lot to get me to get me upset or to make me so mad that I would want to hit somebody. So, yeah, it would be pretty hard to get me to fight someone. Yeah, like what? Okay. Um, next question. Who is more grumpy? I'll say I'm a little bit more grumpy because that's just me. Might be a Jamaican in me, y'all. I don't know. Possibly us Jamaicans tend to be a little bit grumpy sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he's a grumpy guy. I'm... I'm I'm grumpy sometimes. Not as much as not as much as him though. So yeah. It's not that bad. Um, do you guys emulate a particular YouTube couple? I feel like we're in our own lane, to be honest. I agree. Uh, we're just ourselves, and we just try to be ourselves out here in these streets and do yeah. our little thing. But um, I personally, I have a personal favorite that, that they're no longer a couple, but uh, DR and Ken, I've always loved them. But that's the only couple I'll say I like. But not say emulate, nah. We're in our own lane doing our own thing. Who do you secretly hate? Do you secretly hate someone? I don't secretly hate anyone. I don't, I, I just, nobody else. I guess we can drink for that because, but I don't think, I don't hate, I don't, I don't, I don't hate anyone. Hate Not a hater out here. <laughs> it's not I that don't bad. like that. It's not that bad. Um, how's your life compared to how you imagined it growing up? Oh no. Um, <clears throat> my life is not how I imagined it to be at all. Like, I'm 26. You know, you think by now you'd, you'd be like, I guess your, your version of like successful, like the dreams you have, but no, we're still out here grinding and we will be there. Not by 26 though, <laughs> but yeah. We'll get there. Uh, I feel like when it comes to that question, do I see myself where I saw myself? Yes. For me, I knew I'll be studying in my 20s. I've always, growing up, I always wanted to be a doctor of some sort. And I just, I knew my whole 20s is going to be spent in school. And that's really what's going on. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess for me, it has been, it's going the way I thought it would have been going. Yeah. Yeah. No, not for me. <laughs> what? are your thoughts on sex before marriage for me i feel like oh lord you know i have no thought i'm gonna just yeah i don't know what to say about that like <laughs> i don't know what to say about that one <laughs> i don't know what to say about that so i would just say yeah let it go um <clears throat> what do you say about the on the idea that Jamaicans have the biggest eggplants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
Next. Have you ever skinny dipped? No. I have. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. Um, do you believe that sharing is caring? All right. For that question, it all depends. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what sharing are we talking about that is caring? I think with that, it, that's where I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what you're sharing. That's my point. So, do we drink for that? Is it? Does it? I'm not drinking in that. We answered the question. Well, let me guess. I, I, uh, circumstantial. Sharing is caring. Circumstantial. It depends on the circumstance. It's very circumstantial, y'all. That's all I can say. It depends on the circumstance you're in. Yeah. Next. What's the most broke thing you've ever done? Oh my god. Let me think about this. It's so many. I can't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, What's the broken thing I've ever done? I don't. I cannot think of the broken thing I've ever done right now. Like. I can't think. The brokest thing I've ever, I've, all right, the brokest, I don't want to say broke, because it wasn't even, <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Guys, I honestly cannot answer this question. It's not that I don't want to, but I cannot come up with what I've ever done that the brokest thing I've ever done. I can share with you guys the, the brokest thing I've ever been a part of. I wouldn't even say it's broke. It's, I think it's the most sweetest thing ever. My mom was baking a cake for my birthday when I was younger, and she burnt the cake horribly. And then what she did was she just, she bought a bun, like a Jamaican bun, and stick candles in there and sung me happy birthday, and that was the most amazing thing. But I wouldn't say that's broke, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just enjoying to that, because I generally just can't think. Of I can't think. Anything. Do you compare each other to your exes? No, I don't compare him. To our exes, um, but it's clear differences. I don't compare. good differences. Thank God. Oh Lord. But I don't. I don't compare. I don't compare to my exes at all. Like I feel like once we're done, we're done, and we're just gonna move on and just let it go, completely. And I think that's just where, where I stand on that. Have you ever thought about breaking up with each other? That's the question, y'all. Yeah. Have you ever thought about breaking up with each other? Breaking up with him? No. No, no, I've never got that. No. Nope. Uh, next question. Have you ever talked to be at each other's back with anyone or siblings? Oh, God. You can drink if you don't want to answer that. Just, just make it completely clear to you. He told me to drink because he already knows. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I mean, not negatively. I feel like... For me, I do just for like advice. I speak to other married couples who I trust in my life dearly, who I know is able to give advice that I might need as a young married person, given that we, we're just navigating marriage together. So yes, I might have conversation, but not a negative conversation where I'm putting her down or I'm trying to like just repaint her as a bad person though. No. But yeah, of course you can have conversations about the person you're, you're yeah, I have conversations, but so. not negative though. Has either one of you farted doing the thing? Farted? What do you mean? Farted? Yeah, or? like maybe like a little silent fart I have. I wouldn't be. <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever farted doing the thing. <laughs> I've never farted doing the thing. So that's I probably have. That mad. Would you sleep with your partner's best friend to save their lives? I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. I don't want to sleep with none of your friends. You know what? That's but it's saving your life, That's though. messed up. Yeah, I'm just thinking it's to that. Save your yeah, life. I'm, that's you know what? It's a, if, if you're placed in a real life situation where that's a thing, I probably, possibly, of course, yes. To save your life, I probably would. I would. Seriously, yeah. Yeah. Next question. Um, I'm drinking. 
you just drinking and be drinking. Yep. <laughs> um, what can I say? <laughs> what has kept your relationship moving? What has not? What happens? Compromise, um, wanting to make it work more than we want to be correct. Um, yeah. I feel like I definitely agree, as well as just leaning on or like elders, like her in laws. Yeah, know, they've been amazing. They're super helpful. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think our in laws and just our, our desire for the same thing for growth and yeah. just to be successful. In all aspects of her life. Yeah. How many speeding tickets slash parking tickets do y'all have? I'm embarrassed to tell you. I've never gotten a parking ticket nor a speeding ticket. I'm just making that clear. You know what? I've actually gotten one in Jamaica when I was coming from the airport. I was trying to get my mom back to her meeting and it's hitting ticket. now. That was it. I feel it now. <laughs> I feel it now. <laughs> What would you choose, broke for the rest of your lives or get $3 million and your whole life plays in front of your family and friends? My whole life is just gonna have to play for my all of my family and friends to see I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. Um, what would you do? <laughs> What would you, you know what, guys, let me know in the comments, what would you do? Would you, would you rather go broke or have your, get a $3 million and have your whole life play in front of your entire family and friends? What would you guys do? I feel like for me, I would just have it play in front of them. Of course, um, it's my family. They're going to love you regardless of whatever they see. And I mean, I haven't done yeah. anything that crazy in life that could have them see or know. I mean, little mighty things, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, that was the last question we had yeah. from you guys. I just want to say thank you for asking those questions. I'm hoping it allowed you guys to get us to know to get to know us a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been absolutely a pleasure just you know yeah. growing with you guys. And stay tuned. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on post notifications. Yes, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and share our videos as well as to turn on your post notification. I'm repeating exactly what she said. So you can be notified whenever we make a post. So you never miss one of our videos, guys. And we'll be doing this every week. So <clears throat> as regular, we post every single week. Look out for our videos. Thank you again for watching. Please uh, click that subscribe button, y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.